Okay, how's everybody doing? Uh, I want to talk a little bit about what to say to the 1%. What do you say to the 1%? Um, let's say you had the opportunity to go and have lunch with an honest to goodness 1%er, like the real deal. Um, what would you say to this person? What would you say to him? And remember Miniswan, right? What would you say to him? Namaste. Who's buying? Okay. Namaste. All right. What's that? Reach for the sky. Reach for the sky. Okay. All right. What? You know the one percenters. Are you hiring? Are you hiring? Okay. All right. So let's talk about ordinary people for a minute. Okay. I want to talk about ordinary people, and I'm going to start at the most natural place you could possibly start, which is a cost of reading light. Let's say you're an ordinary person in, living in 1750 BC. And you're living in Babylon. And you want to go and work hard enough to get an hour's worth of reading light. Your technology at the time would have been a sesame oil lamp. And how long would you have had to work to get an hour's worth of reading light out of a sesame oil lamp? You would have had to work about 3,000 minutes or, or roughly two days to buy enough oil to do that. Um, fast forward to 1800 AD, now your technology is what? Oil. Not yet. Candles, okay? Candles. And now the cost is dramatically reduced because the technology is better, okay? A tallow candle, you can get an hour reading light and you only have to work about six hours to do that. Uh, 1880, now what? Kerosene lamps, right? And now we only got to work about 15 minutes for an hour reading light. 1950, your technology is? Incandescent light bulbs and electricity. Now you got to work about eight seconds for an hour of reading light. And today, with an LED bulb, we got to work how long? A little less than half a second of your time for an hour's worth of reading light. Okay? So let's think about what that means for everyday people. Um, first of all, why is this so cheap? The the, 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 your cost, your, your output for one thing is, is higher. This is in terms of your output, okay? So your output has increased dramatically since that time, but also the much larger factor is the technology has gotten way better, okay? So, um, we could draw, we could make similar uh, uh, demonstrations for things like uh, other necessities like food, okay? Uh, in, uh, in, in 1800, a farmer, okay, could feed a, a little over one person. And so about 90% of our population was spent farming because that's how many people had to, to farm in order to feed people. And in 1960, that number was about 26 people. One farmer could feed about 26 people. Today, a farmer can feed about 155 people because we have things like that, OK? We have these, these massive machines that do, that do our work for us. Um, to clothe yourself, how do you clothe yourself? Well, how do you clothe your feet anyway? I should remove my shoes to make that clear. The way you clothe your feet is you go to a Ruby Hat conference and they give you some socks, OK? Um, Seriously, clothing is super, super, super cheap. It used to be you had like one thing that you wore all the time, okay? But now you've got machines like that that make uh, super cheap cloth. And so uh, clothing is super, super comfortable. Um, so uh, we've got all of these comforts. We've got all of these things that are really, really cheap. And they're so cheap that we have a meme about it, right? We, we, we have a thing where we, what does this meme? First world problems, so we worry about things like that, right? And um, <laughs> that, that's um, all things considered, that's a pretty good problem to have, right? Okay. Uh, oh gosh, thirty seconds. Um, all right. So, can I have a couple of extra minutes since I started early? Um, all right. So who else was in this kind of position? It's, it's like these kinds of people. 200 years ago, those kind of people had the first world problems, right? Those kind of people had water that was heated for them, had homes that were heated for them, had servants that brought them things. We've got bananas in that other room 
that came here from Guatemala. Did you look at the sticker? We got oranges from South Dakota, and we got apples from everywhere. We are super, super lucky. What are you going to say to the 1%? Turn to the person next to you and say, welcome to the 1%. In the history of the world, we are the luckiest people. We are the luckiest 1%.